What up, everybody, and welcome to the FB and Goob Show. I'm FB. I'm the Goob. Sponsored by the Good Time Tavern of Livermore, California. How's the Goob? And the Goob is good, man. We got uh, all sorts of stuff going on. Winter meetings. We got NBA in-season tournament. Lots of NFL. And, uh, oh, yeah, I beat Scotty in our post-fantasy football. Okay. <sighs> I, beat you with no quarter- I beat you with no quarterback, FB. It was close. It was close. I almost thought for a second there, Evan Ingram might get me three more points. Uh, it was it was pretty amazing. Evan Ingram putting up 23 against my Jacksonville's four to make it, yeah, sweat worthy. But, you know. I didn't even look until like two minutes to go. That means I'm up like at least $2, I think. You got $2. Well, double or nothing. <laughs> On what? Um, the three- Next week? <laughs> The three games we play against each other when everybody else is playing playoffs and Super Bowl. Oh, it'll be like quadruple or nothing by the end. That's what I'm saying. It could be like four, eight, 16 bucks. Anyway, so I win, you lose, but neither of us lost this week, really. No, no, this week was unbelievable. So we're just going to get, we're going to get sports of the weekend. Uh, Jesus, what an amazing weekend. I, I'm speechless. I really, I thought I saw two good games. I thought the Niners game, Niners looked really, really good. I told I you. I mean, that, if you want me to start ranting, I totally can. You know what I mean? Because. I think you deserve it. I think you're definitely the better team in the NFL right now. Can I say it was kind of a Belichickian in the way that we I mean, he usually does a defense to offense, but we picked their weakness out and we just destroyed their linebackers, made them look like fools. They this little man, this little man running all over the place, Debo. They I got Shaq Leonard Debo. the next day. Yeah, they did. Next. I mean, smart move by them. I mean, I don't know if he could tackle Debo either, but you never know. I don't know if he can tackle Debo, but I think he can cover Kittle. That was help? another. That was another. That was another thing that you exposed. You exposed the linebackers and all their weaknesses. Kittle was wide open all the time. Yeah, uh, and they couldn't tackle if they got past the line. It went, once they got past the line, it was safeties and linebackers missing tackles. Well, so, uh-huh. and uh, and no one can argue that we don't have an MVP quarterback. I mean, he leads the league in every important category there is. I think I think the only argument people had is that he was it, it's too early for Tom Brady to take over. So <laughs> right, the only argument I might, people really had. I didn't have. I mean, with him. I thought what I saw was fine. Um, the only the only hard quarterback in the league uh, resides in this weird cheese capital of the world. We'll get there. I, I'm really um I'm not putting a crown on anybody right now because everybody's too young in this thing. So. I, I don't want to put a crown on anybody. So, but we, you know, I, what I saw with the Niners was, was, was really, really impressive. They, they beat the shit out of what was probably the best team in the NFL. They did. We've been emphatic with Trent Williams and not so without. It's a huge difference. And I'm going to keep saying it. Oh, you can't lose Trent Williams. Apparently nope. you don't want to lose Debo Samuels either. You guys went Owen. Oh, yeah. The that's time. the argument. What was the bigger loss there? Both. Just yeah. losing both of those guys. Caused if we you. lose just one of them, do we still have a chance to win the Super Bowl? If, I think you have a better chance if you lose Debo. Because I don't think you can lose Brock Purdy's protection. No. And, uh, his yeah. run, and his run blocking is second to none. It's probably some of the best run blocking for a man of that size. He tosses humans. It's amazing. Yeah. He's, he's halfway down the field pushing people through sidelines. So, yeah, I, I would say don't lose him. Um, is Brock Purdy the MVP? Why not? I mean, who else? Two That's wise. Two uh, maybe. Oh, I'd give it to Tyreek. Tyreek is if he breaks two thousand yards. If Tyreek goes for over two thousand yards and say twenty touchdowns, he should be a finalist. He's that guy that you put on the field and you're like, okay, we need three guys to know where he is at all times. At all times. And that it doesn't matter if he gets past one of them. Faster than you anyway faster than you so yeah. just he just once he gets ahead of you it's over and that's a scheme that mike mcdaniels has really put together to allow that guy to be wide open down the field 
for some crazy ass touchdown. Uh, play action, movement at the line. That's all that Shanahan shit, right? No, the FB's prediction of uh, Miami San Francisco looks really good this week. <laughs> Miami put the beat down on Washington. Bye bye, Washington. I still like my prediction. Uh, I like it, of course, on the Niners' side. I like it a lot. Um, Miami's got to get past Baltimore. They do. They do. I don't th- see. I don't see like you know. Niners have to get past. I don't know, but Miami has to get past Baltimore. There's no. There's no question there. Baltimore hosts a nice defense. Uh, they have Lamar Jackson. They've got receivers and weapons. Gus Edwards fills in just nicely. Justin Hill, this Keaton Mitchell kid, or whoever the hell he is, the kid I didn't take instead of Gus Edwards. I took Gus, and I didn't take. It doesn't matter though, because they just each week they just was a week for one and a week for another. Yeah, one of them's going to touch down. You don't know which one. Yeah, the Ravens but... are a force. Roquan Smith makes that team. He just makes that team. I feel like without I Roquan, different team. So that's they can't lose him. You can't yeah. lose Trent Williams. Yeah, he, he's the Ravens' Trent Williams. The Roquan the goes down. Trent. Ravens are out just like we would be out without Trent. Right. right. And right. The Eagles. But the one thing I have to say about the Niners, we've talked about, you know, like we've made comments a lot about teams like Miami hasn't beaten anybody with a winning record. Chiefs haven't beaten anybody with a winning record. Yet they're eight and three and then this and that. But sure. the Niners have destroyed both of the best teams in the NFC because they destroyed the Cowboys and they destroyed the Eagles. So that's, uh, yeah. that's a whole different way to look at it when you think about it. You think about, okay, these guys are 8-3, and three, but they really ain't beating anybody. And when they haven't played a good team, that team's beating them. Yeah, Dallas lost Arizona. I mean, yeah, right. I mean, I, I feel like Niners- Philly, Philly's the stronger team as far as that's concerned. The Lions are fun. Lions are fun. I mean, but Lions also, they've lost. I, I think we're we just out physical the Lions at this point. The Lions are building towards a physical team. They they love Dan Campbell, but they're just they don't have enough first round draft picks on their defensive line to beat us. I don't think. That, no, their defensive line is their weak point, and that's not the Eagles' weak point. It's not the Niners' weak point. And from what I've seen in the last two to three weeks, it's not the Packers' weak point anymore because Rayshon Gary and Preston Smith and Lucas Van Ness have been getting to the quarterback way more than we have in this whole season. So I see your Debo Samuels. Nobody cares about Debo Samuels. Um, No, that's uh, something the Lions are missing. The Lions could be vulnerable in the playoffs because of their defensive line. Uh, You know, they're going to get – if anyone's going to make some noise, it's going to be the Packers. So you should chirp a little bit about your uh, three-game win streak. What has he got? Eight touchdowns, zero interceptions the last three weeks, this Mr. Lowe? Uh, Yes. And and good numbers in the air, 265, 268. I mean, you know, not 300, but getting – The yards per attempt is getting better per week. I think the trust in a young unit is – I think these kids are all gelling together. I mean, we know it's the youngest team in football. I think you're now seeing young receivers and young tight ends and young quarterback and, you know, even the line, which we will work on next year because we'll make a decision about Bakhtiari. And even the line is kind of young. It's bouncing around. When you look at the line, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a bunch of young kids with no Bakhtiari anymore. You know what I mean? They're all 23, 23. But can you make some noise in the playoffs? That's what we want to know. Do you have enough talent this year? To, to beat the Lions in the first round or, yeah. you know, something like that. I think, I think defensively we're there already because we've been playing well without Jair Alexander and a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks. Uh, Van Ness is starting to turn into what he's supposed to be. Um, do I think we can make noise? I think we can get a first round win. Can <laughs> we win? Can we beat the Eagles, the Niners, or the Cowboys? That's going to be tough. I don't think we can yeah. beat any of those teams. Um but I think we could beat the Lions or the Rams. I think we could beat. I think you could beat the Rams too. Oh <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I think you know. I think we're better than those teams. Do I think you know? After that, if we have to play the Falcons, I think we can beat the Falcons. Now I don't think we. I don't think Atlanta stops us. I think sure. we can beat them, and I think we can beat the Lions. So yeah, I think we can get to the second round of the playoffs. Fair then, enough. And then it's you know it's 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 barring what's, injuries and. What's with the AFC then? Do you see? Let's move to the AFC. See if any of these uh, the six and six teams like the Packers. So we're saying like 
the Bengals with uh, Mr. Browning. Can any of these teams make a run? Denver, Houston. Uh, well, I mean, Denver's proven that they can get on a run. They won five in a row. Um, Russell Wilson has been in the playoffs. He knows what to do when he gets there. He's been there a lot. He's been to Super Bowls. Um, I, I think Houston is one of the most exciting teams in all of football. And I can't – I mean, I know they lost Tank Dell this week. I am so excited for Houston. Uh, with, and he, now think about Trevor Lawrence going down this week. If he's gone for three weeks, what happens to Jacksonville? Can C.J. Beathard take Jacksonville to the promised land? Last start was as a Niner. Yeah. I mean, I remember him as a Niner. When I saw him go on the field, I was like, I remember him as a Niner. He kept him in some games. He hey. kept him in some games. You know, if, if that's your backup quarterback, it's not that. That's not the worst. Not the end of the world. So, so I, I was like, oh, but can you It's not like Zach Wilson or something. Oh shit! No, he's not like Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson doesn't even want to play anymore. So I'm no, 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 I'm not playing. We need you to play. No, you guys keep starting me, put starting me, <laughs> starting me. Fucking, I'm a goddamn I, tennis ball. It's like fuck somehow me. Flacco's on the Browns now. They lost that whole thing. Yeah, why do we give up Joe? Joe got beat. His ass. Jets are a mess. Jets are a mess. Jets are a tough That's mess. Let, we can put it to bed tonight. Right now, I'm saying Aaron Rodgers is not playing a game this year in the NFL. Because there ain't no reason to go play on the Jets this year. And get, I wouldn't. their offensive line is so bad, he would get sacked. You you think he can afford a sack this year? <laughs> no, he can't get sacked this year. He can't afford one sack. If somebody sacked him, it'd be fuck. My thing is fucked up. He needs to take a whole year off. Let shit just you know. So we'll put that to rest. Jets are out. They're not making the playoffs. They're getting a good offensive lineman in the in the draft because it'll be like the number four, five, six pick. They're going to have four, yeah. five, six pick with Aaron Rodgers. He'll probably they be might... the receiver. If, if they get the if they get the three and two quarterbacks go, you know Aaron's going to call him and go, get Marvin Harrison Jr. right now. <laughs> and then he'll play one snap and that'll be it. It'll be it. They didn't get an offensive line. He got crushed. Back to Zach Wilson. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, all right. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I, I'm excited for I, I, I the – I'm excited for Houston. I really am. Indeed. And do you think, uh, well, this coming week, we got some awesome games. Uh, Chiefs, Bills amongst the more important of the AFC games. Chiefs, Bills, very important. I still think. In Kansas City, so I give them a slight advantage. What do you think? Uh, being in Kansas City is a slight advantage. That's one of those loud stadiums that's hard to. Josh going to throw four interceptions in a loud stadium. Yeah. Right he can't hear still. nothing. Can't hear nothing. Just see, just things I said this way. Yeah, I'm screaming out shit. Can't hear a fucking thing. Yeah, no, that's going to be, that's a bad game for Josh. So, you know, Patrick Mahomes has never had a road playoff game. <laughs> that's unfair to the rest that's of the league. totally unfair. I, I can't wait for this season and Patrick to go on the road. You know what I mean? Hey, like go to, go to Baltimore. Miami. <laughs> You'd have to go to Baltimore though. I hope he goes to Baltimore because if he goes to Miami, it's not going to matter. No, no, it's exactly. not going to matter. It's going to be beautiful in Miami. <laughs> yeah, that's be a good week. I'm excited for the uh, Monday Night Football. So. Yeah, no, we got a uh, well, the Eagles Cowboys. That's the game of the week, right? The Eagles Cowboys game of the week. Yes. I mean, you would week? you would think that the Cowboys win that they control their own destiny. It's not exactly true. <laughs> no. But they'd be in way better shape. Cowboys because, don't because they, control anything. Because they lost to the Cardinals, if the Cowboys and Eagles die, the Eagles still win the division. And that's fucked up. Not, <laughs> that's fucked up. That is fucked up. Even if they beat them? Uh, well, they're going to split if they beat them. Oh, they're going to split because Eagles have already beat them. That's still head-to-head -head number one tiebreaker, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, head to head. It's got to be head to head, right? Number one. Like, but that game's just still monster. Just because if they beat them twice and they lost, but they lost to the Cardinals. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be yeah, great. They lost to the Cardinals. Ah. We might have to change that rule. Yeah, they should probably change that rule. They're talking about changing the tush push. And if they change that shit in the middle of the year, I will be disappointed in football. Don't even change it. Why would you change they it? They can't. They can't, right? I'm like, they're going to. Roger Goodell doesn't like no. it. The rules guys don't even meet until January. 
yeah, they're having some special meeting talking about it. I'm like, shut the fuck up. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. You know, how can you say, hey, you can't do that football play anymore? It's too good. All right. All right. So I got two things. We got like three or four minutes left in NFL. Uh, do you want to talk about how Steelers lost and are terrible or Jim Irsay? How Steelers? <laughs> now, Steelers lost and they're terrible. I would like to take Jim Irsay for 250 bucks, Pat. No, Jim Irsay is an idiot. I don't want to give him any of our time. Uh, Steelers, if they don't get pick it back, they're not going to go to the playoffs. All right, so when did the, the chance start for fire new running back coach? <laughs> Offensive coordinator. I don't know his name yet. We should Google that. Fire Matt Canada was super popular. That was good. But I don't think you can fire anybody else anymore. I mean, you can fire Mike Tomlin. No, well, can you? Yeah. I mean, you I guess. Can't. If you fire Mike Tomlin, he'd be on the Chargers next week. That's the only problem. You know? So he would get a job instantly. So that would just be a big mistake by Pittsburgh. Um, no. Yeah. All right, but yeah, but they blew it. They blew it. The Bengals are actually on the rise. The Browns blew it. They lost to the Rams by a trillion. The Rams. They got killed by the Rams. Like that whole thing got kind of swirled around. Now the Bengals are thinking they're all good. Their, right. schedule, their schedule's not bad either. Browning could win some of these games. He won one last night. Yeah, it looked good doing it. He did. Put he up did. 34 points. McPherson missed an extra a field goal, so it could have been 37. Of course, McManus missed that field goal, and the game should have probably been over. But, you know, shit happens. What do you do, you know? So exactly. that, was, that was a good can't game. Can't cry over spilt milk. You can't. I, I really, you know, I like, I'm like. i a huge Trevor Lawrence fan. You know that, right? So I was kind of sad for him. I was sad for Jacksonville. Duval. I like Duval County. I like that whole Jacksonville thing. Right. Going. Well, I kind of wish Lawrence would fail on his own and not uh... – not resort to injury, ruining his season again. Yeah, I don't want that. You want him to fail because you just dislike him. I, I want him to throw him. four picks like Tony Romo. That's what I want. You want that kind of failure. I don't. I like this kid. I think this kid's been destined destined to be the, you know, MVP of the NFL and win a Super Bowl. So I think it's been, you know, ordained. It's just that's it. That's going to happen. We're just waiting for it. I did not know C.J. Stroud was also the same person. So I'm happy to see that go Ohio State all the way. I'm excited for Houston. I really am. Go, uh, not much. Not that I like the Niners coach, but I, I like the Niners. Jimmy coach. Ryan's baby. Man, he's doing a great At least job. one of the Niners assistants is having a good year. Oh Except man, not Robert Bobby. Sala. Oh yeah, Bob, Bobby Boy is not having a good year, but McDan- But Mike, Mike, Bobby Mike is creating Bobby. a name. For, Mike is creating a name for himself in Miami. He's 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 oh, like yeah, Mike. changing the coaching world in Miami. So. We just keep Getting draft picks for all these coaches. I love it. Keep sending me more picks, NFL. Yeah, they're doing – those guys have done very well for themselves. That's kind of like a homegrown thing, you know. Homegrown had Andy Reid and uh, he had uh, – what was that Niners coach? Uh, Mucci. What was his name? Mariucci. Mariucci. Stevie Mariucci. Boy. Yeah, he had Stevie Boy and Homegrown, John Gruden. So Homegrown had like that kind of effect. That right away. Bang that sent out these coaches. And now it seems like Shanahan is having this like explosion of coaches that are going out and making a name for himself. Yeah, well, it's always good to be a franchise that have good coaches. Like, I believe Walsh did the same know. thing, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Walsh did the same thing. I think that's where Holmgren came from, right? All from the wall street, basically. <laughs> All from the wall street, right? What, what tree did McCarthy come from? Uh, George Hallis. Huh? George Hallis. George Hallis. That was, no. From McCarthy? No. He no, came from was, the Niners. He was the That was the Niners, yeah. Seifert? Was he a Seifert prodigy? Seifert was uh, no one's mentor. <laughs> yeah. it, it was Walsh by default. Was, so Mike McCarthy yeah. is a Walsh product by default. Seifert was a freaking joke. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to think who, what coach was offensive coordinator Mike McCarthy Coaching offensive. Oh, four. Yeah, yeah, it was Seifert, but I mean, Seifert didn't do anything. It was all McCarthy and uh, who was the other? C? Don't remember at this time. It doesn't matter. Remember when all you right, guys said Mike Singletary? <laughs> yeah, right. It was Singletary, DC. <laughs> oh no. All right. So the NFL is fantastic. 
Oh, I love it. I can't believe we're, we got a chance to go to the playoffs. We have to, we have the easiest schedule going out, so good chance the Packers make it to the playoffs. We're going to get one win. If we get one win, Jordan Love is the Green Bay Packer quarterback for 15 years. And that has happened before, so why doubt it now? Yeah, why? You shouldn't. <laughs> Three quarterbacks in 50 years. It's going to be insane. That is insane. That is insane. All right. So let's move on. I love I love it, but let's move on. I know. Happy Tarverius Ward Day, but let's go to the NBA. Happy Tarverius Ward Day, but let's go. Yeah, let's go to the NBA. Tournament is almost finished. I think the tournament's been great. As much as I didn't know, I I, I, I like it. I like it. No, I'll be honest. It's uh, gotten crowds fired up, and uh, that's what we like. We like when everyone's fired up. I don't, like the, I don't like the courts. Nah, whatever. You don't have to like the courts. We'll change them next year. If we can do something about the courts, I'd be happier, but whatever. You gotta yeah. make next year, they'll, have, they'll do a new one. They'll do a uh, one with the stairs that go up and then down. <laughs> MC, awesome. MC Escher courts. Yeah, that'd be awesome. we just have some guy come out there and do it in chalk or something. And it's gone <laughs> by halfway or something. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Well, yeah, the tournament's been sick. I mean, we got, what, Indiana, Indiana. against Milwaukee in the East. As of tonight, the Knicks are not going because Milwaukee handily handed the Knicks their asses. Not a lot of defense being played in these games. One a lot of excitement, but no defense. 144 to 121 or some. Fun. Fun, fun right? 270 points almost. Fun. Yeah. Not really, because I'm coming from the days of, like, Pistons, Lakers, Celtics, Knicks beating the shit out of each other, 89-84. <laughs> right. Defense. <laughs> it was. Well, that was a decade after they beat them 134 to 124. So we've seen that. We, they've run the gamut before. It's just going to keep going up and down until they, they feel it's right. But It's not right right now. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> It's a little too all-star gamey for me. You know what I mean? It feels like an exhibition. When but everyone's really excited to win half a million dollars. Everybody is way excited to just win a half a million. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I'd shoot up three points in every shot. <laughs> Come on, we got to win a half a million dollars. Eat. Pretty insane. But yeah, we said last week that the new ninja in the NBA is Tyrese Halliburton, and he has delivered. He's not stopping. that guy. That guy is a superstar. He's tweeting like a superstar these days. I mean, it's over. Like this kid's he's made the club. So he's 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 made the basketball club and he's now tweeting like Trump. What do you mean? Not like Trump, like the elite basketball well, guys. You talk about great tweeters, the great tweeters. You must talk about Trump. Oh. You must talk about <laughs> You know those people are outside the Livermore Library today? I had kicked one of them. What? Try to Trying to hit me with. What <laughs> people were outside there? Trump people. Isn't it early? And this is why I dress like a Tommy. That's why you you need to let that thing go. You need to. No, it's it my Chris, It's a Christmas hat. It is a Christmas hat. Now you're, you now you're elf. Now, now we were just kidding about the leave Trump just thing. Just like that. Just leave it like it that. Wasn't there. Don't change it. I like it that way. That's great. Um. Listen, no, Halliburton has showed up. Listen, Magic are still in third place, you know. I'm like, wow. Nine and one in their last ten. Knicks are sitting in fifth, and I'm I feel okay about that because the Magic have come from nowhere. So that means we would be fourth, you know. So I'm like, top four, take it. I know I don't know where Magic have come from. They got Ranchero or Pablo <laughs> Picasso and whoever the fuck else, but. I don't see them being there at the end of the year. So I'm like, hey, we're the fourth best team right now. That's fair. That's Celtics, Bucks, Philadelphia, Knicks. You're there, but you're not scaring anyone. So that's fine. I mean, at least you're, you're in a scary. top six. We're scary. Are you? We're in scary. a back alley if Julius Randle walks out first, maybe. Yeah, that's what I mean. If Julius Randle shows up and plays basketball, we're scary. He puts up 27 and 12. What you said is exactly correct. If Julius Randle walks out first in an alley, we're winning the fight. And if Julius Randle goes out there and scores 30 points and Brunson can follow with 25, Barrett can be the person he's supposed to be. We're scary. Mitchell Robinson's scary. He's not, you know, he's blocking, he's rebounding, he's, he's not a bad center. 
Uh, quickly is good. I love quickly him. is good. He didn't get a lot of run today in the playoffs. I was uh, I was disappointed. He should have played more. Yeah, I, he should play a lot more. Um, I don't even know why that one guy starts. Who's your first? You start that one guard who's quit grimy. Why are you starting grimy? This is ridiculous. Quinn, Quinn's still playing pretty well, but he's not as good as quickly. I like I like <laughs> quickly in the line. Well, we got DiVincenzo and Hart too, and these guys are on the court too. I don't. I think there should be other players starting for sure. I agree with you in the way that quickly should be starting every game. You know what I mean? Like, and Brunson, quickly, Randall, Mitchell Robinson, R.J. Barrett. That's our starting five right there. But apparently, Grimey's probably a good backup point guard. I think Grimey is a backup. He's an off the bench player. He was been an off. He's always been an off the bench player. Vincenzo Hart off the bench. We've got our starters, but I agree with quickly should be on the. I like when he's on the court. I see him, I see him in more highlights than any other Nick other than Brunson. <laughs> so, you know, unless because they always like to talk about Randall. So whatever. Um, Warriors though, eleventh. I mean, you. I mean, we could talk about the Pistons, but this. Well, we could talk about the Pistons, but yeah, I feel like I'm lay. I'm laying the Warriors to rest at this point. Because, I mean, they won't trade Thompson. Everyone said that, which is ridiculous because he's worthless. Uh, Wiggins is still in his own head. He's a 28-year-old superstar that could jump out of the gym and does not realize it. He's always uh, been Chris Paul's hurt. gp 2 is hurt. hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah, Wiggins just slammed his thumb into the car door. So we got, well, Steph Curry's got to play like 50 minutes. He's going to break down. Yeah. I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel here. I love uh, Sports Center Kaminga James because he throws those down like whoa wee. And then, and then even even Draymond is. We're a playing team, and that's if Draymond doesn't punch somebody by the end of that's the year. That's it. That's yeah. Draymond is a loose cannon. This might nope. be. I told, we, I told you last year you needed to get rid of Draymond. You needed to trade him to Detroit. Detroit yeah. needs a leader. Detroit that has no leadership. That would have worked. That would have worked, right? You could have gotten – even if you got nothing for Draymond. One of their three centers, someone seven feet tall would have helped. <laughs> well, for the Pistons? And a shooter for us. No, all we needed was a shooter and a seven-footer. We just dumped Draymond. Yeah, just dumped Draymond to Detroit. And Detroit needs a leader, somebody to smack the kids around. Uh, We've got a bunch of children out so there. So now, now we're looking at trading. If if I, if I was the, the owner, I'd be looking at trading – Two of the three, either Draymond and Tit Clay or Clay and Wiggins or one combination of that with Chris Paul to a, a team that wants to win the championship and start getting back some stuff. And then, sorry, Steph, man, uh, you're just going to have to lead this new group and hopefully they win championships and you can take credit for some of that. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I or, know. or trade Steph to the Knicks. <laughs> Just trade something to the mix, man. You know what? If you're not <laughs> going to trade the other guys away, trade. They need to. Up. Fuck loyalty. It's a business, baby. It's time to break it up. Listen, look at the Green Bay Packers. They're the, they've are the they won the third most games in 30 or 40 years. You know what I mean? And they are the one team that gets bitched at for running like a business all the time. You know what I mean? Like, up, oh, guys, almost done. Out the door. You know what I mean? And, it is a business. You're right. Don't fall in love. I fell in love with Brett Favre and Ryan. It's a business. Jim Mersey. Jim Mersey. I love Jim. College basketball, what you got, man? Well, I thought I had a great Carolina lead in because we beat Tennessee. We opened the ACC and beat ten- uh, Florida State. But then we uh, showed up in Madison Square Garden for the Jimmy V Classic. The Jimmy which v, is baby. Love v you. cancer, baby. But we couldn't beat UConn. You kind of look good. They made a lot of threes. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of fluidity at the top of college basketball. It's kind of fun right now. There is, because it's bouncing all over the place. Kentucky win, Kentucky lose. Kentucky lose to somebody I don't even know who they are. I'm like, yeah, we beat number seven. And then we like lose to like, who, Vermont, Wilmington of Winchester? Who the fuck is that? You know what I mean? <laughs> who the fuck is that? I don't even know that fucking team's name. Who the fuck are they? You know what I mean? I thought- I thought it was a fake thing. I was like, that's going to be fake news. Kentucky yeah, lost to North Vermont. They just had four letters. That's all they were. The W-H-A-T. Lost to four loggers. Fucking who's the name? How the fuck we lose this team? How can we beat number seven and lose to number somebody not even ranked? I'm like, it doesn't make it. It's weird. It is. There's a lot of weird stuff. 
Uh, Purdue finally gave up their number one ranking. They everybody lost. They lost to nobody. North Northwest, but but Boo Booey, baby. Boo Booey. Boo Booey. Who we had no is not related to Sam Booey at all. No, but he's related to Cool. He's related to Cool because he <laughs> took down number one Purdue. He did. He put up thirty some points. Played an awesome game. Uh, they held uh, the big boy in check for Purdue. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Arizona is the top team right now. They got a seven. Boo. Yeah, I boo. Arizona. I hate Arizona. I don't know why. I, I do know why. They beat Kentucky that one year. I hate them. I'll never like them ever. To a it, happens. Team. It, happens. it does happen. Nah. White-haired coach, Bill Holtz. I, Lou Holtz. I, I don't have a whole lot much more going on with that, really. Uh, you know, I'd rather talk Heisman shit, really. I, let's, you know what? I would, I'm pissed at college football right now. So, sure. Go. Talk about your Heisman. I you would, want uh I you wanted want Florida, Florida State. State. I would, I listen. Ohio State lost to the best team in the country. It was their only fucking loss. So then the one lost team got in, who lost to Texas, and then the <laughs> team that. Uh, so wait a minute. So who looked at something? I don't understand where these compute. Why didn't they just let a computer do it or some shit? Look like. I don't know. It's uh, it's record, um, strength of schedule, and bribery. And bribery. Well, he's got a lot of money. Fuck you. I'm like, we should have brought the shit out of those people. Apparently, Alabama's got more. <laughs> more than Florida, because Florida State should have got in. <laughs> yeah, Dion trying to defend his own alma mater did a terrible job. But, I mean, yeah, Florida State, like, come on, man. Deion Sanders, got, Deion Sanders got Sports Illustrated Sportsman <laughs> of the Year. Of the year. For losing eight in a row, losing one of the biggest – Win leads losing to Stanford, who they were beating by right. 100. And then, how did he get Sportsman of the Year? Coach of the what the fuck are you? He should have been like Twitter due to the month or something, but that's about it. They said, Oh, he changed the thing. He brought everybody from Jackson State to Colorado. We didn't fucking do anything. He just, and he and his kid was team. one of them. He just, the whole team, he said, Hey, listen, my son who's going to the pros, both my sons who are going to the pros, come on, let's go. Come on, there we go. I mean, they say his son's going to be a, a quarterback in the pros. So I'm like, he just took a whole team. He just didn't take any linemen with him. He got his ass kicked right after he won the first two games. He hit Oregon. Oregon rumbled right through him, and he never won another fucking game after that. Sportsman right. of the year. So we're uh, we're running low on time. I got a question for you. Best of bowl one. game. It's funny. You guys play Missouri. Which you, I don't know if you've ever played them before. And we play Ole Miss, Penn State Ole Miss. I don't know if we ever played them before. I've never played Missouri ever once. We're going to discuss yeah. Missouri. What, we're playing Missouri in what game? I don't know, the bowl game. What bowl game? Man, I don't have enough time to look it up. But listen, they're going to be fun. They're going to be cool. <laughs> Washington, Texas. So who you got in the, who you got the whole thing? Michigan versus Bama, who you got? Oh, I got Bama. Washington, Texas. I got Bama winning the whole thing now. Bama, Bama. Alabama got in there. I went, what the fuck? Alabama, Nick Saban. Bama one more time. Yeah, I know. Bama one more time. Man, I got Bama the whole way. Once Bama got in there, I went, well, who's the SEC team in there? Alabama. Oh, that's not fair. And then that kid is now playing. The, he's improved every game, that quarterback for them. They got one of the best receivers in football. They always tout a, a, a top 10 defense. Other than Michigan, who they're going to beat in the first game, it's going to be Texas, Alabama in the finals. Do you see uh, Arch Manning is going to stay at Texas, not enter the transfer protocol? I was hoping when my quarterback entered the transfer portal, that was because <laughs> I the transfer portal, and he was coming. I was trying to keep mine into the transfer. <laughs> Come on, man. Get in there. We went 11-1. and one. Why is McCord entering the transfer portal? And I went, oh. No Marvin Harrison. <laughs> Yeah, he's no, gonna look, he's out. He's going to look terrible without Marvin. No, they got five other guys just waiting for Marvin to leave so they can be the fucking best receivers of football. Hey, did you see what I thought was very interesting? And I know we're almost out of time. But you know who else entered the transfer portal for Ohio State? And I thought he would just enter and go into the pros was that Fleming receiver. Remember <laughs> the one that went from Florida to Penn State, yeah. you guys? Yeah, now he's entered the transfer portal again. Why don't you just enter the fucking draft and get a third-round draft pick out of it and go to the pros and prove yourself? 
I'm just like, I don't understand that. And hey, some people, people I liked, I like college a lot. I spent seven years there. So yeah, apparently he's some going to do the same fucking thing. Um, I got, I got, so where does, one more question. Where does Belichick go? Chargers, Raiders, Bears. Uh, is the grave an option? Grave, number four is the grave. Or Death Star. Death Star. He's already got the, he's already on the Death Star. I think he's a Charger by the end of this year. I think he goes to the Chargers. Oof. Shut I don't down, think Chargers can down. sink any lower. They want to get worse? No, nah, they need somebody who's a game manager and somebody who knows how to coach football. Great defense, awesome quarterback. Could be a good fit for the old man. Plus, the wife probably wants to get out of New England, get down to San Diego. It's much nicer weather. Go to San Diego. Um, who's your performer? You got a performer for me? No, oh, I got it. One minute and 12 seconds on performers of the week. Check this I out. Got two minutes and 10 seconds over here. Go. All right. So Cleveland Guardians, 2% chance of winning the first pick in that major league baseball draft. Nice. They won it. First time in the history that Cleveland Indians slash Guardians. Okay. I've got that pick. Second baseball note, Jimmy Leland, awesome coach of the Pittsburgh Pirates Jimmy. with Barry Bonds and Benia and Ben oh, Swift. Bobby. Uh, and then eventually won, eventually won with the Florida Marlins. We did. Love that Hall mustache. 23rd manager ever elected to the Hall of Fame. Go Jimmy Leland. Shout out, big dog. Uh, Crosby has scored more points against Flyers than anyone else in history. Good for good for Sid the Kid. And uh, hold on. I got one more thing, then I'll give you a whole minute. Uh, Milan, Pulisic, fifth Serie A goal. Was a ridiculous one. The goalie kicked it 60 yards. He trapped it like right on his foot. Boop, boop, boop. Fucked up some guys and scored a goal. Tied a record there. He's looking sick. You got to keep Milan winning so that game I go to will be oh, worth. Yeah, you want to, you want, you want a great game. You want to go to something awesome. Yeah, I so it could be awesome for you. We're only a couple of points behind the leader, so it's all good. Oh, not bad. Okay. Um, yeah. My my performer of the week, and this is gonna sound weird, man, but uh, it's it's, it's good to the Packers. Man, this team is young. They're gelling. They're turning around. It's all been his thing. Um, even with the getting rid of Aaron Rodgers, I know Mark Murphy was a part of that, but I think Goody had an odd plan the whole time. I think he knew what he had in Jordan Love. Um, man, he is just my performer right now because this is his team. He built this team. He built this defense. He built this offense. Shout out Brian Gutekunst. Making it easy in Green Bay. All right. That's fair. Hey. Uh, uh, we're almost out of here. I'm looking forward to one thing next week. Live streaming Monday night, Packers, Giants. We got two Monday night football games, so I'm going to convince the group to come here because that's what I'm looking forward to because we got two Monday night football games. We're going to live